The Cheyenne Mounted Zoo is always pushing forward when it comes to state-of-the-art facilities, innovation, and conservation efforts. CARDIO News Channel 13's Natasha Lynn visited the Cheyenne Mountain Zoo to find out more about a program that is pushing to do just that. The lead veterinarian in charge of this program here at Cheyenne Mountain Zoo works with these giraffes on revolutionary training, emergency response, and state-of-the-art medicine. She also travels across the country to other facilities and even to the giraffe's native continent of Africa to work with these animals in the wild. Things are always changing for the better at the Cheyenne Mountain Zoo. So the vessels, the blood vessels are actually closer to the surface under some of those spots. Now they can use thermal imaging cameras like this on their herd of giraffes. If there's like a, let's say there was a tooth abscess or whatever, then I'd expect to see a warm spot on the underline, underside of the jaw. There's now a first of its kind giraffe training and emergency response program now being unveiled. And then we can actually stick a needle in there and collect either a small volume or a big volume of blood. And it's going to help other facilities and giraffes by growing stem cells and contributing to a plasma bank. All of our giraffe are trained for voluntary medical procedures. Several of them are trained not only for hoof trims, but things like voluntary blood draws. And they will come up to this platform, get treats the whole time, and we can collect blood from an IV into a bag right here with them having the option to walk away at any time. But they choose to stay usually for crackers and lettuce. Dr. Lisa Dadoni says some of the work through this program studies how giraffe medicine can relate to human medicine advancements. If you look at a giraffe, they can be 18 feet tall. Their blood pressure is twice that of a human, um, but they don't have common human health problems like strokes or passing out episodes. And that's because of a series of adaptations that they have. There's a lot of research starting to understand how we can apply what's unique about giraffe to develop new medicines for human health. This new program is also invested in helping the endangered species population repopulate with voluntary but controlled breeding. The facility here has had 202 giraffe births at Cheyenne Mountain Zoo, with another one on the way any day now. And you can watch expected mom Bailey on a camera the zoo has set up. And we have a link on our website. Reporting from Cheyenne Mountain Zoo, I'm Natasha Lynn for KRGO News Channel 13.